Peace, everybody. Uh, today, I wanted to chop it up with you guys about uh, my journey into the body game, as well as um, my overall health journey. So all my life, I, I would say I had a rather poor diet growing up, um, impoverished, food desert situation, uh, parents really not having the type of education um, to cater towards uh, health, right? To cater towards the right type of fruits and vegetables, the right everything to eat, right? Um, I mean, they did the best that they can, shout out to them. However, it was just a circumstance that I was placed in. But nonetheless, growing up, I grew up in, in an inner city from Detroit and I remember just always eating snacks, always eating chips. And, you know, anybody who's an 80s baby growing up in the inner city, you remember how much a dollar could get you back in the day, right? You can get a bag of chips, something to drink, a honey bun, some donuts, whatever, all for just for one dollar, right? Four bags of chips, the little quarter bags of chips at that time. But nonetheless, I grew up eating all of that stuff every day, every day, Slim Jims, just greasy stuff, right? Uh, matter of fact, I was eating more junk food than I was eating regular food. So I grew up kind of frail. I grew up skinny, had a high metabolism. Now, um, the type of exercises that I would do, uh, I would do like push-ups, sit-ups, and jumping jacks. Uh, my father had my brother and I do an exercise, but I was a lazy kid. I was more so into my books and joking around and having fun. I really didn't grasped what he was trying to teach me in terms of uh, staying physically fit. So moving on, I grew up, uh, went to college, and still had this primary way of eating food. I ate a lot of junk. I mean, I love nachos, I love wings, different things like that. And I used to always love putting ranch on all of like my wings and even like all my chips and stuff like that, right? Crazy, right? Um, but going into my 20s uh, after college, even going into my 30s, I still primarily had that type of diet. Now, after college, I started researching things on health. Um, I actually gave up pork back in 2008, so I haven't had pork since. But my diet, my overall diet wasn't good. I've had times where I've done fast, 14 day water fast. I've done a master cleanse, 10 day on a master cleanse. Uh, I even did a 30 day uh, water fast, just straight water. Um, it was a deeply spiritual situation. It was some unfortunate circumstances that happened as a result um, into going into it, not while it, but the reason why I even did it in the first place. And that'll be a story I'll share with you guys one day. Um, but even with all that said, you know, I studied Dr. Sabi, I studied Dr. Layla Africa. I studied so many different type of scholars uh, for health. And yet I would do these things. I'd be disciplined. I'd do 20 day full body detoxes, et cetera, et cetera, and work out some. But my problem was the lack of consistency. I was super inconsistent, right? Not to mention I had an alcohol problem, I abused alcohol. And all of these things were affecting me. They were affecting my, my mindset. They were affecting my social skills. They were just affecting me in so many different areas, right? I wasn't that younger guy who could eat all of this junk and not worry about gaining any weight or anything. And father time was starting to catch up with me. And I would notice whenever I would not be working out, whenever I would not be eating right, I would notice my skin. I would have like dark patches on my forehead and uh, just cloudy, unfocused and just wanting to drink all the time because I felt like I wasn't living up to my full potential. Some of you guys, you probably can relate to this. Right. And when the pandemic happened, uh, pardon me, when the pandemic happened, just like many of you, I started looking at life a lot differently, right? All of the information mainstream media was telling me, I already knew a lot of that was garbage, but nonetheless, I also understood and I understand that life has an expiration date 
And the quality of life you live is going to determine the quality of the mindset, the quality of the habits that you have. So I started exercising. I started working out. I started eating healthier. You know, at some point I gained up to almost 260 pounds and I'm six feet. Like I'm so used to the majority of my life being under 180 pounds, right? Once I started gaining more weight, I stayed in like that 220 to 230 range. Um, unhealthy, had a gut, right? Still even kind of got a gut. But nonetheless, I had gotten all the way up to 260 pounds. Breathing wasn't right. Just wasn't feeling good. My clothes wasn't feel, fitting good. I wasn't getting the looks from the women like I used to. And I'm not the type that cares about the validation from women, but still as a man, you still like to know that you, you have it or you still have it, right? So just recently, I started watching a channel on YouTube, uh, Brother Ron Wills. Uh, and check that brother out, really, really intelligent dude. And some of you guys, I'm sure you hip to him, and he discusses the body game along with many other topics, right? Uh, go subscribe to his channel, man, and you'll see why so many people rock with him. But anyway, I never heard anyone discuss the body game in those, in those ways. And I started hitting the gym, and I found myself falling in love with the gym. Now, me, I'm an early bird. I'm disciplined when it comes to waking up. And I get up every morning at three o'clock. I hit the gym about about four o'clock, between 3.45 to 4 a.m. And then I stay in there uh, for almost an hour, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little less, just depending upon what I got on my schedule. Like right now, I'm here in the gym. And one thing I love about getting up early in a gym is guess what? I got the whole gym to myself, right? Nobody is in here. And I'm able to make this video right now and what I'm going to do moving forward, I'm going to document my journey and I'm going to share it with you guys because, man, Body Game Nation, it's a real thing, right? It's a lot of brothers out there and sisters out there who taking their fitness serious, who taking their health serious, right? Man, we only got one life to live, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. We only got one life to live. And I know the type of body I want. I know the type of frame I want. I know the type of way that I want to be seen in the world when I present myself, right? And not even just for aesthetic purposes. You know, I have a child and I want to be able to provide and support and protect my child in any way that I need to. And along with having a strong mind, you want to have a strong body. So I'm looking at it like I may not be where I want to be in terms of overall presence, in terms of overall stature, but I'm headed toward that direction. So I wanna help you guys along the way who may not be the type that get in front of a camera and talk to a whole bunch of random people that you may or may not know. I wanna be an example for not only you guys, but for myself and for my family, for my loved ones. So shout out to Body Game Nation. Shout out to everybody who's getting up. Shout out to everybody that's watching this video. And let's get it, man. Uh, I want to be able to see what happens three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, and be able to look back at these videos and see the progress that I've made, man. So be on the lookout. I'm going to continue to drop this type of content amongst other type of content on my channel. And do me a favor, man, like this video and subscribe to this channel and even leave a comment and let me know if you in part of Body Game Nation, if you battling any type of addictions or anything like that and what type of mindset that helps you get out of that. All right. Peace, fellas.